My name is Oscar Ong Pong. I'm going to be the first right now to say that I'm totally against the construction of this telescope. Um, I testified a year ago and a couple of years ago, so I know we've got three minutes from the first round, so I'll try to be really quick and concise. In short, if this telescope is to be built on Haleakala, it's not a sustainable project. Okay. Socially, environmentally, economically, it is not sustainable. It's very short-sighted. With all due respect to the previous speakers, our kupunas, and just for the record, I am Kanako Maui, I'm Hawaii National. My lineage goes back thousands of years here on this island, Molokai, the big island. Okay, so I'll get that out of the way. So I'm going to be talking to you and expressing myself from the first person. You know, I didn't read this. I didn't go to school, get degrees. I lived it, and I'm living it today. So my points are this. One, I'm not against science. I never was. Like my kupunas, I believe that science is such a valuable and important part of our existence. <coughs> I made this point a year ago and when I asked the question. <coughs> these other alternative sites, and I believe there were two more besides Haleakala, would the objectives <coughs> and the goals that this telescope were to pursue, could they have been reached and are they obtainable at these alternative sites? And the answer was yes. So, for the record, I'd like to make this very clear that Haleakala, if the ATST telescopes are not built on this sacred mountain, it doesn't mean that humanity is going to lose in any which way or form. And I said this last year and I'll say this again. Because a majority of the community, the Hawaiian community and the community at large, doesn't want this to be built for various reasons, take the project, build it at one of the other two sites. Okay? And <coughs> The other part I really wanted to, to address is the mention of the, the economic um, tie-in to um, businesses, job opportunities, and what have you. You know, this is similar to what the plantations have told the people for the past hundred years. And that is that, oh, we need this to create jobs, we need this to benefit the community. But that's the part that I'm talking about that is very short-sighted. It's not, it will not. What we need is to get involved with projects that are sustainable for the community. The immediate concerns we have right now is job losses, homelessness, people can't build, um, pay their bills so they're losing homes to foreclosure and what have you. We need to take the money that are being allocated and put it into areas that are going to benefit the people today and now. You know, for instance, carpenters. What we need to look at is renovating the buildings that we already have here not putting up more buildings or more hotels or more developments because we're shooting ourselves in the foot again. We already shot ourselves economically as a society in the left foot. We only got one more foot left. So now we're looking at shooting the other foot. So please, you know, I, I'm very passionate. I'm very definitive about this. No to this. It's not sustainable. And our kapunas would say, you know what? <clears throat> Don't do it because we'll kill ourselves. Thank you. Pastor, you want another three minutes? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, at the end. <laughs> 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 <laughs>